Hi everyone, Simon here. Today I'm going to be talking about freelancers. Now a lot of you already know about them, but there's quite a few people now, new subscribers and things asking about the basics and what is a freelancer. So I thought I'd cover the subject. Also, it'll lead into my next video which should be complaints in a beer bar. So as most of you know, I was a manager of bar for a couple of years in Patea, 15 years ago, and this information about freelancers is from that back in that time although I think it hasn't changed much so a freelancer is a girl or a guy or a lady boy stroke toy um, who doesn't work for a bar or an establishment who works autonomously on their own with no support no backup no help totally on the streets and let's talk about Patea. You will find freelancers will frequent all the way along Beach Road. This might have changed, but um, bars like the Bamboo Bar, I think, which is at the entrance to Walking Street, and the nightclubs, discos, nightclubs, and any beer bar that will allow them in um, without any problems. They're everywhere. And just walking up and down Walking Street, lots of freelancers. You find girls who work in bars as bar girls, when they finish work, they'll go out and they'll become a freelancer. And in Bangkok, everywhere, there's, there's quite a few bars all over Thailand where you'll find freelancers, but they're basically not attached to any bars. So there's gambles. If you're looking for a friend for an evening or a couple of days with freelancers, there's no comeback you've got no real protection, you've got no history on them. Um, quite a lot of people have been asking me to do videos about STD, drug tests and all this sort of thing, which we'll do in the, in the near future. So that again, there's, uh, you've no knowledge of that. Quite a few soapy massage girls after their shifts become freelancers. And I live next to an airport, yep, sorry. Mm. and uh, even cleaners at hotels and things they suddenly finish work and become freelancers so all sorts even students that want a bit of extra money become freelancers so there's good bad and ugly out there <laughs> that's the best way of describing it and you have to be careful with freelancers because there's no comeback now as a bar manager we only eventually we decided on 10 girls working for us but we had freelancers coming in the bar. What's that all about? Why? Freelancers maybe pick guys, girls, but up, out and about, but they've met them in the street, in the freelancer bar, in the nightclub, and they want to go around bars drinking. The guy especially, you know, if it's guy, he'll want to go around for a few drinks. So these freelancers will come to our bars and all the other bars and talk to the Marasans way in advance. They've probably gone to every bar in the area and they've negotiated that if they bring a customer into the bar that they will get the lady drink commission. So the guy comes in, buys them a drink, it's classed as a lady drink, so it's usually a Coke, costs the bar 20 baht. They give 20 baht, kick back to the freelancer and they profit a 40 baht for the bar. And the, they'll get a little, little ticket um, slipped to them after each drink. You might notice it, you might not. So if they've already negotiated with our bar, for instance, they'd come in, bring the customers in. It's great for us because they're bringing more customers in. So we didn't have any problem. They wouldn't tend, they wouldn't pick up customers in our bar because our girls, that's their territory. So freelancers will take you around the bars for drinks and things, and uh, you probably none the wiser that they're getting a bit of a commission. And some bars give them even more commission and persuade them to come in. But you are taking a risk if you're going to go with a freelancer um, for whatever reason you've decided you're going to pick a freelancer sometimes can be great sometimes not so good but there's no comeback no protection recommendations I'm not going to record I mean it's a bit of common sense um, a few questions make your own mind up but that is basically what a freelancer is it's a girl that's not attached to a bar 
Um, a lot of lady boys, katoys, are freelancers. A lot. And it's a field I don't know a lot about. However, I did have one lady boy work in my bar for over a year. So I got a general feel. There's certain areas in, in every town where you'll find the freelancer, katoys, lady boys. Um, if that's the scene you're into, you've just got to ask at the lady bar, lady boy bars you do find, they'll probably tell you where they are. Um, and the the gay scene and the guys looking for guys and girls looking for guys, f foreigners, foreign girls looking for a Thai guy. Again, there's certain areas and certain places and there's freelancers as well. So you just have to ask about a bit. But it soon becomes apparent where they are. Um, again, no protection, no backup, no, they're not attached to a bar, a lot of these. So just be careful. And that generally, that's basically what a freelancer is. It is a girl, boy, etc., that is not attached to a bar that works autonomously on the streets and prices usually, from my memory and what people have said, are lower. You haven't got to pay a bar fine for taking the person out of a bar, so more negotiable. And they're also, if you want a partner for uh, more than one night, you wanted a week, two weeks, a month, freelancers are easier to accommodate you because they're not attached to a bar. So, again, there's ups and downs. <laughs> ups and downs. Right, so there you go, that's that done. Next video, complaints in my beer bar. That should be an interesting one. Thanks for watching, hope that basic video helps some of you. I'll catch you soon. Bye.